Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do an update on Gerald Anderson and Julia Barreto. I did a reading on them back a year ago in August, August 2019. There was a bit of a um, love triangle between Gerald, B, and Julia. So I, my same friend, has asked me to do an update on Gerald and Julia, wondering if they're actually in a relationship. Now, when I think about Gerald and B, they're go she's gone. She's out of the picture. She is definitely not in this picture anymore. But I feel that Julia and Gerald, I do feel that there is a relationship going on with them now. Um... He's older than her, is he not by um, quite a bit or something like that? But apparently, like, I don't know. I feel that they have a relationship going on. Um, I feel that he is, I feel like they're in love. They have a relationship going on. I don't feel like it's something that they're shouting from the rooftops. But I do feel that there is, there's, there's you know, like, when I, okay, the way I work is I'm a clairsentient and I, pick up feelings and emotions from other people and I get symbols and I get signs and I get visions. When I think about B, she is, I see her off in the distant. Julia and Gerald are close. Their energies are um, uh, within each other. Like, you know, they're, they're connected. So, um, I think, I feel like they're kind of like they're, they've got a low profile. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if there was a lot of people hurt with this. So it's just like they're kind of keeping it quiet, letting the dust, dust kind of settle and, um, going on with their lives quietly. So, uh, I feel like they're happy together. You know, um, isn't Julia a lot younger than Gerald? For some reason, I'm thinking she's a lot younger. She's younger. I feel she's impressionable. She's naive. And I feel like he's a bit older and more experienced. And he wants to look after her. He wants to take care of her. I don't know if this is something that everybody wants or is hoping for. If um, their fans are hoping for these two to get together, I feel like they are, they are together. I feel that they're happy together. I think they've been together all this time. And they're just kind of letting everything settle. They want the dust to settle. They want to make sure that um, this doesn't hurt their career. I don't think it's going to hurt the career. But you know what I mean? Like they, they just don't want to kind of throw it in people's faces because they think that there's some people that have been hurt here. Um, I feel like Gerald is the one that needs to kind of lay low more. This has kind of been put on him um, rather than Julia because I, I really feel that when Julia got involved with him, I don't, like, it's almost like she was under the impression that he was single. I don't know. So I don't know if she got much backlash or what, but um, I do feel that together, they're together and I feel that they're happy. Um, he dotes on her and he really wants to make sure she's happy. She's a very sweet girl. I want to call her a girl because I feel like she's, she. I just feel like she's younger. So I feel she's very sweet and she's somewhat naive, um, but he wants to look after her and make sure, she, that, make sure she's taken care of, um, not just financially, and I'm sure she's got her own money, but I just kind of feel like this, someone who's a protector, he, he protects her. He wants to protect her. And she respects him. She respects his... Um, she respects his opinion and respects his... Just his, his experiences and, and that sort of a thing. So let's go to the cards and see what the cards say. I will use... I'm going to use this deck here. This is a nice deck. Okay, make sure I have all the cards. Uh, hold on here. Okay. All right. What are the energies between Julia and Gerald? 
What are the energies between Julia and Gerald? All right. I think like, I just feel like they kind of did some damage, whether it was to their reputation or to other people. So it's kind of like, all right, you know what? Let's be together, but let's keep it on the down low. So we're not throwing it in people's faces. And eventually people will um, come around, but they just don't want to be flamboyant about it. They're trying to be respectful and just kind of live a quieter sort of a life when it comes to their relationship. All right, what are the energies between, what are the messages between Gerald and Julia? Gerald and Julia. What are the messages regarding Gerald and Julia? Gerald and Julia. What are the messages between Gerald and Julia? 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 She's got a soft energy. I really feel she's soft. And he's a manly man. Like, he's he's quite manly. But she gives him control. She wants, she wants him to be the boss, if that makes sense. Gerald and Julia. What are the messages regarding Gerald and Julia? Gerald and Julia. I should look up their birth dates. I always do this every time I start a reading. All right, Gerald Anderson birthday. March 7th, ooh, he's a Pisces. And Julia's is March 10th, oh, they're both Pisces. Now, 89, 97. Okay, I felt she was younger. So 97, okay, 2007. So she's 22 and he's 30. Okay, so there's quite an age difference here, hey? Okay, all right. So yeah, that's why I felt he's a little bit more of a caretaker. He really loves her. He loves this woman a lot. And I don't think he's going to do her dirty. You know, he really, really likes her a lot. So he loves her. You know, he don't, I feel like he dotes on her. Okay, so here we have the emperor and the emperor is the boss. All right, this guy is a strategic planner, father figure. I'm not saying she looks at him like a father figure, but he's the planner. He's the boss. This card, this guy is the boss of all the kings in the tarot. Okay, so um, he is the one in control in this relationship, not controlling. That's two different things. I'm not saying he's controlling, but he controls it and she gives him control. Okay. Then we have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is a logical, self-sufficient, truth-telling woman. She's a Pisces. This is why I get that. She's very soft. She's very soft. And she's emotional. He, they're both, they're both, they're both Pisces, which makes it a really watery relationship. It's very emotional, and it's very doting. You know, he likes to dote on her, and she likes him doting on her. You know, I just get a little girl. She's just like very sweet, very kind, um, and he's very. I feel like he's good to her. Okay, so here we have the Queen of Swords, and. She's a truth teller. You know, I feel like she tells him what she needs and he does it for her. We have the five of wands. I asked about the energies between the two of them. So there is um, challenges and obstacles and conflict in this relationship. Look at all the red. This talks about passion, but I feel that there's not conflict between the two of them. But you know what? Um, they have to kind of tiptoe around a certain certain things. So this is really just about some challenges that they have to overcome and some obstacles. Okay, but this is saying that there's there is a little bit of conflict, but not between them. I really just feel in their situation. Surprise, surprise. There's the lovers. 
All right. So the lovers is partnership, deep love, balance of two people together. I truly feel these two are going to be lifelong partners that they will now be together forever. They, it's a really nice, lovely relationship. And then there he is. This is the Pisces Cancer Scorpio male, the Page of Cups. Um, uh, I'm just going to go to the book on this one just to see what, um, like if they're seen out together in public, I don't feel like they're falling all over each other and are having a lot of public displays of affection. I feel that they, I see them kind of like when they're out in public, they're like royalty. They just kind of keep to themselves. They don't touch each other. They don't hold hands. They're just kind of being respectful. All right. So this is about good news. It's about friendship. Um, this is a young page. This young page is an individual, male or female, who's enthusiastic and talkative. Um, this card means good news and often talks about a young situation. It's about being creative and sociable. So I believe that the two of them are very creative together, very sociable. Um, and this is about lots of ideas between the two of them. I think they got a lot of ideas. And, um, and they're enthusiastic. I feel like they talk a lot. Very talkative. They connect on a lot of levels. Okay. All right. Now I will see what their future messages are. What are the future messages for Julia and Gerald? Future messages for Julia and Gerald. Future messages regarding Julia and Gerald. Gerald. Future messages regarding Julia and 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 Gerald. These two are meant to be together. Future messages regarding Julia and Gerald. 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 Okay. Future messages regarding Julia and Gerald, we have the Temperance card. And this card talks about balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. There's a lot of balance and harmony here between the two of them. Now, self-control and moderation, I when I think about that, I think about that in the aspect of when they're out together in public, or I don't know if they go out in public, but when they're out uh, side of their home or outside of their privacy, they keep it very um, self-controlling and moderate. So I just feel like it's very, it's like they go out and they put on a certain face. Okay. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Uh, the Ten of Swords is about complete and painful ending. Now there was a complete and painful ending here, I believe, between B and Gerald. So they're trying to get past this. Okay. They don't want to look like they're the ones like that stab someone like, you know, you can see this woman being stabbed in the heart. Usually it's in the back. Um, this woman is just, you know, usually it shows someone face down. So they don't want to look like this. Okay. So then we have the nine of swords, but this is about, it's still causing them and still going to cause them in the future, some anxiety and grief. Okay, it's about so that's the things that kind of keep them up at night, and this still kind of keeps them up at night. All right, it's a very well balanced relationship. We have balance here. We have um, the the way scales. All right, and so they're balanced. So this relationship is a lot of giving and receiving, and generosity, and just kindness towards each other. Well balanced. Okay, this card talks about balance and harmony. This card is about balance. And then we have the chariot. Okay, and the chariot talks about um, 
action and change. This is about a journey. I'm going to go to my book and just get a deeper meaning. So this card talks about progress, victory, determination. Um, this card often comes up to show an opportunity that brings financial rewards or other marks of success. Relationships progress. All right, the relationship will progress between the two of them. I really feel like they're meant to be together. I, I feel it's very watery between them, very emotional. I feel that they are lucky to have each other in their lives. They went through some shit. You know, they went through, obviously, you know, they someone had to get hurt. But I really, truly believe that these two are meant to be together. Okay. All right. So there you go. That is the reading for um, Gerald and Julia. If anybody would like to purchase a private reading, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. I will send within 24 hours, I will send you um, uh, how to purchase a reading. My turnaround time is five days, less than five days. Uh, if anybody wants to don't don wants to donate to this channel, donations are welcome. I leave I will leave my PayPal um, in the comment box. I don't get a whole lot from YouTube when I do these readings. Even if I get a couple thousand views, I get three or four dollars from YouTube. I don't get a whole lot. So if you guys like this content and want to see this content uh, more of it. Donate. It doesn't have to be much, but it certainly helps out the channel. So, all right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Then you'll see every time when a I post a new reading. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.